to our channel. Today I am making Lakota Bay's fry bread. So I wrote everything down and I hope this is all the ingredients and I just followed along with her her video that she did. So you guys will see how I make her fry bread. So first of all, we're going to choose one package of yeast, but this is the yeast that I have. So one for one packet, it's going to be two and a quarter tablespoons of yeast. So we have that there. If that's one package of yeast and then one tablespoon no one teaspoon of sugar this is the fry bread that you throw in table for heels for huh Let's yep. see if you take me over <laughs> i already did <laughs> <laughs> i know she's making fry bread on the last day before we do this challenge and then a half cup of Oil? This is not even a half cup, it's one. <clears throat> Hold on. See, I haven't been wanting to do this for a long time, but my cousin has had two rounds today. We're still hungover from our wine and wine. We did one this morning. Okay, this is going to be a half cup of warm water. And we have fun interacting with all you guys. So we're just going to let this... Just let it, uh, um, hold on. Let it... Let it rise. Yeah. The small whisk is gone. The small one? Yeah, that baby one. Okay, so this one we're gonna set aside. Sorry guys, this is the only big area I have to do all all of this because our counter is too small and then you're gonna get four cups of flour there's one do you remember Kristen saying on the her lives that she done the fiber yeah she said she made it and it came out pretty good because she posted it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And one of the subscribers also made one. <clears throat> yeah. Talking about it too. She said she made it um, three times already. So there's four cups of flour, and then we're gonna need a quarter cup of sugar. A lot of sugar today. I know Ryan got us some sweets. We've been eating that all morning. We finished Ryan's um, peach pie so far. That was good, Ryan. One teaspoon of salt. And then we're just going to mix this one up. Then in between this one she made like a like that. Now we're going to get one egg. 
Or to put an egg in there? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. One egg. And then this egg's gonna go into this. And then it asks for a quarter cup of oil. <laughs> if it was me making it, I'd be like, this is quarter cup, this is quarter cup. This is four cups right here. And then pour it in here. And then a half cup of water. Maybe warm water. And this one's going to go in here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Then let's fix this up. And then we're going to pour this one, the wet mixture, into the dry mixture. is where we mix. Then you add more water if you need it. Can't wait to try it out. <clears throat> Suddenly, all that sugar just got on the table. Oh, all the sugar? Yeah, I can hear it under the bowl. So, she said you want it in a, to get it at a sticky texture, but not that sticky. So, I'm assuming. You just make it like you're making, like the way um, I make my bread, I guess. You can really smell the yeast, huh? Can yeah. you smell it on your side? Yeah. <laughs> it's all the sugar on the bottom. It feels like it's been a while since I've seen that bag of sugar. I don't even know what you do with sugar. 
We've had that bag for a while because we don't really use it. Remember we used to drink all kinds of Kool-Aid? Yep. We used to have like three, four sugars in there just for Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. I haven't had Kool-Aid in a long time. I know it does. Honey yeast rolls. The best. You should try Cameron's honey with that one now. I should, huh? Remember, was it last week you were wanting to make yeast rolls? We're going to have dinner with something to remember you. Right, should I make yeast rolls? But we end up buying it. Um, we had bought it and I was like, I'll make yeast rolls. And you're like, we already bought the, 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 the main yeast, one. Yeah, the one well, store bought one already. And then she goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> she punched it a few times. I don't do that to my bread <laughs> or to my dough. You gotta cook happy. Yep. You gotta be nice to your bread, be nice to your food. Mm-hmm. So, you're gonna cover and let rise for, she said, 30 minutes. For 30 minutes? So we're gonna do 30 minutes and then Check it, knead it again, then let it rise again for another hour. So I'm going to cover this and see how we'll be back in 30 minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so it's been 30 minutes since we had covered this and look how much it's risen. So I'm going to knead this and then I'm going to knead it again and... We're going to cover it again when I'm done kneading it. Remember um, the way it wants me to make homemade pizza too? Yeah. It's been a while since I made it. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. So I'm just going to knead it. And then the dough. Fill it. So, I'm going to cover it again, and this time we're going to let it sit for one hour. Then when one hour is up, it's cooking time. Oh, wow. That's it. Is. That is a process. Yeah. So, we will be back in another hour. It at is 6.20 right now. 6.24. Or 5.24. <laughs> Tricky. <laughs> so, we'll be back in another hour. Okay guys, we're back. We let this rise for a whole hour. So now we're going to roll it out. I need to keep adding flour on this. <clears throat> okay. I wish I had a bigger space to do this. I guess you just cut it into however shapes. Oh, 
whatever you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> then you got the Okay, so I had my oil heating up already. So let's put these guys in. I think I don't have enough flour down on my work surface. <clears throat> oh, I forgot that pan to put them in. <clears throat> One of those. Check that out, guys. You think it'll be okay right there? Or no? I think so. Okay. <clears throat> I didn't know my oil was that hot. But let's do this. Pretty quick. How long do you let it sit for? Like five minutes? Yeah. Can you turn it down? Yeah. Or you'll feed in that plate. <clears throat> It tastes like a donut. That's what I'm thinking. If it has that donut taste to it. Well, I never, I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm just kind of guessing because when you, when it's frying, you can smell it. You can smell the yeast still. Smells like we're making donuts. Yeah, it smells like a donut. Like we're walking by the bakery. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm, I wonder if it tastes like a donut. She did say it was sweet. It was sweet? Yeah. Because of the sugar. Uh -huh. The sugar that is added into it. Yeah, that's kind of small, I guess. Like, you know how like, uh, you walk around the fair and it has that oil, that certain oil smell? Yeah. It smells like... um. What are those called? My favorite. Um, I th okay. Yes, that's what it smells like. Funnel cake. So yeah, this is my first time trying this. I wanted to try this recipe out for the longest time. So... Here we have it.
Finish up? Yeah, we'll show you guys when I'm done. We're gonna finish up these right here. Okay, guys. Uh, Sue is done with the fiber, and we are having chili beans with it. Because I, we remember Navajo man was saying they're eating chili beans, huh? Yeah. So she made that, and right here's her chili bean, and Josiah's here. So Nadia's got the commodity cheese over there, so we're gonna have it with commodity cheese, and <laughs> put it back. <laughs> Hold on, we're supposed to do a review. <laughs> so. <clears throat> yep, he's hungry. Um, I'm gonna. I guess we're all gonna grab a piece. You want a piece? Grab one. There's all that delicious bread. Now we're gonna see how it is, how it tastes. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow. Good. This kind of tastes like um biscuit. Tastes like a donut. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. somewhat like a donut. It is very good though. <clears throat> Pretty good. It's really airy. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like eerie. Try to taste like a donut. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. Oh. Mm hmm. It's good. It goes good with this chili. Yeah. Mm. I recommend you guys try this recipe yeah. from Lakota Bay in Navajo Man. Uh, <clears throat> Man, her mom also makes this recipe. <clears throat> so, yes, try it out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The only thing is you have to let it, um, the dough rise. So, the first time she said that she let her dough rise for a whole hour when it's only supposed to be 30 minutes. So I did 30 minutes and then um, when 30 minutes was up, I went and kneaded the dough. And then when I was done, I covered it and let it sit for an hour. And then that's when I started frying it. But it's good. Just like it's filling a little bit. <laughs> he was hungry. He worked this morning, so... But <clears throat> it's good. Try it out. Uh, give it a try. Um, the only thing is just the time process of letting it rise. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all worth it at the end. It's all good. It's really good. And we have some of the honey from Happen Off the Rails, Cameron sent. So. Oh, I can try it. 
think we can put some on there. Try it on that way too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the texture kind of reminds me of a supplepia, huh? Yeah, yeah, it does. That's kind of a kind of tastes like added sugar. Yeah, she mm -hmm. put sugar in her. Oh. So it's really good though, and it really goes well with the chili bean. So the chili beans is not hot, but it's really good. Delicious. So, shout out to Navajo Man and Lakota Bay for showing us this recipe. We enjoy it. We like it. And, you know, it's, it's a thing to have with chili beans. Mm -hmm. So, good pairing. I don't know how it's going to taste the stew, but <clears throat> one way to find out. Though. Yep. So, thank you guys, and thank you for watching. Thank you to Stu for making the bread. Yeah, thanks for watching. I would have already crashed on the on the yeast already. <laughs> well, thank you guys, and you guys all have a good day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, people. There's the what's left of the fiber bread. Josiah finished everything. He did. He ate most of it. Yeah. So there's only three pieces left and we're super full. Oh, we haven't even weighed ourselves yet too. And now we're gonna fill all this liquid. What? Bye bye fire bread. <laughs> See you in three months. <laughs> so you guys, Try it out. This is a recommend right here. Especially eating fried bread from a different culture. There we go, talking again. I'm just gonna keep going. <laughs> just try it out. <laughs> you guys have a good night. <laughs>